Alrighty guys, um, back at it with another video, but this time we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Fast and Furious 68 Charger wide body. Now normally I don't really care about Jada's Dodge Chargers, they normally do it really terribly. But this one caught my attention because it actually looks like they fixed the mold. And I like their off-road charger and their ice charger, so I was kind of curious as to how they were going to handle this car from the movie. And it appears to be a mid-engine charger, which sounds amazing. So, what I'm seeing so far, I like. Uh, standard box from Jade. I'm not going to go over the box like a bunch of other reviewers do. But I will show that they do have the Gladiator and they do have the Supra. <clears throat> so, let's get it out of the package. Now, I did open this preemptively to make sure that the screws weren't stripped so that I could get it out of the box. And luckily, these screws were fine. So, it was the one rare time when that doesn't happen. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm get I guess I'm lucky with this thing. Alright, let's take the tape off. Oh my god, look at how fat the tires are on this thing. Holy crap. Oh cool, it's got like little details of like cooling systems and stuff. That's really cool. It's nifty. Okay, one thing that's been bugging me about this car is the front end. I want to see what's under the hood. Absolutely nothing. Okay, well that has room for improvement. I could buy like a gas tank and put it in there that'll be cool to kind of make it look like like it's got a racing fuel cell or something i could do that this has custom potential i'm into this thing so far sorry i just realized that it wasn't really in focus that much all righty let's take a look at the rear which does open kind of in a weird way I imagine they took inspiration from the Hemi Underglass, like Cuda, and it looks like, is that a Hellcat engine or like a Demon engine? I don't know, that supercharger looks oddly like a Hellcat engine. Probably out of a Demon, I don't know. Ooh, sorry if I sound stuffed up, I just had buffalo chicken and my, my nose is going for it. The door panels... I probably would have done these in silver, but they appear to just be plain, which is cool. They look like they're race car door panels, not stock charger interior, like we've gotten in the past. The seats, really cool looking dashboard. That's not a charger dashboard at all. Dude, this thing's like a 4GT combined with a charger. Two awesome cars. Even if you're not a Ford guy, you gotta admit, the Ford GT's cool. Oh my god, dude. I love this thing. Look at the glass behind there. Yo, Jada knocked this out of the park. Wow. I love the little gas tank filler here. <clears throat> Sorry, let me get a drink of water. Sorry about that. But... Jada did an amazing job on this. It's not too big. Normally I feel like their die casts are way too big to display with other cars. Which this is pretty big. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the General Lee. Which is 124th scale. And she's stuck. It ain't bad. Let me go ahead and grab the camera. That's not bad, considering this car is supposed to be like a wide body. That ain't bad at all. I actually really dig that. Let's take a look at the grill. Pretty accurate for a 68 Charger. Dude, I love how these are like arched out like that. It looks badass. I really like the black and gold. Which I think the Hemi Underglass is black and gold as well. Just gloss. A gloss black instead of a flat black. Take a look at the rear. Oh wow, they actually fixed that. In a lot of the pictures that I would see online, the taillight looked like it was screwed up. Like one of them looked like they were like over here-ish or up. 
more than they were supposed to be. But that ain't bad. I really like the whole cutoff here because normally a charger has a piece there. This is really nice. Holy crap. It ain't perfect, but wow. Jada did amazing on this thing. This was worth the wait. This was supposed to come out a, like a month ago. And I don't know what happened behind the scenes. But when it was going to ship, it said it was out of stock. It shipped. Then it didn't ship. Then it said the order was going to be delayed. And it's it's here now, so I have no idea what the hell happened behind the scenes. But, wow. Jada did awesome with this thing. I love it. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. So yeah, if I'm going to rate this, I've never really done rating. I'm going to give this thing a solid 8. Solid 8 out of 10. Good job by Jada, really. So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Pick this up, it's worth it.